Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install Ruby using RBMV. Uh, this is a much better solution than RVM. Uh, I'd seriously recommend it. Uh, but anyways, we'll start by installing some needed packages. Um, so you can copy and paste this from the description below. Install all these packages. So once that's installed, um, so just going to run the following commands to set up RBMV. CD. Basically, you want to be in your home directory here. Uh, git clone git dot dot slash slash github dot com s stevenson slash r b e n v dot git two dot rbmv folder. I missed a slash here. All right. So now we want to run another command. We'll echo in quotations export uh, path equals dollar sign home slash dot r b e n v slash bin and path. All right, so what this does is export our BEMV into our bash path. Uh, okay, so now echo eval dollar sign our BEMV init dash and then I'll put that to our bash RC as well. All right, now exec shell. All right, so now we've got our BEMV. Uh, now we need to get a Ruby build, which just makes it even easier to use our BEMV. So git clone git dot dot slash slash github dot com slash s stevenson again slash ruby dash build dot git and copy that to home folder dot rbemv slash plugins slash ruby dash build. All right, now we run another command to our bash RC echo export path home slash dot rbemv slash plugins slash ruby build slash bin dot path. Oh, and copy that to your bash RC and exec shell again. All right, and we're going to install one more gem that automatically rehashes your stuff. Uh, git clone. Well, we'll just go back, change this one to. RBAM gem rehash and change the git repository here. Alright, so now you're ready to install Ruby versions. Um, so RBAM install uh, 2.2.3, which is the latest version at this time. Now you're going to have to let it do its thing. Go grab a coffee because this is going to take at least 15 minutes. So now that you've installed uh, Ruby, we'll set the, the global Ruby version, RBMV global 2.2.3. Oh, global. And RBMV shell 2.2.3. And if you press Ruby dash V, 
of Ruby versions 2.2.3. All right, so before we install any of our gems, um, let's just add something to our gemrc, echo gem dash dash no ri dash dash no rdoc. Good. And now you're ready to install your gems. For example, gem install bundler rails and rake. So that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.